What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ari. We're back here with another again. Well, not another again. Once again, we're gonna be woman. Oh God, I need to learn how to read. That should be this Christmas break agenda. Man, how to read. But this one we're gonna be reacting to Load Up with uh, Load and Agent from. Oh God, excuse me, repping AMP. I remember the stupid females who said the last video. Yeah, they back here again. So we're gonna react to the woman tells the worst lies ever. And rules men like ruins men like but the women don't kill. <laughs> I'm into love, right? I just wanna see what they gotta see, alright? Well if you guys are new to the channel man, smash that like button, alright? Show your boy some love. Yeah, FF be your favorite fat boy. With that being said, let's get into it. Yo, what up my second channel oh. people? We back with another video. I know it's been a long time, but you know. Upload strong plus the CPMs are high. So you, I, yeah, 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 I'm saying. Um, hey, you know, don't expose the secrets. <laughs> um, yo, you already know who it is on, on the left of me, you know, my brother, you know, one of my best people. See, fun fact CPM, we all see your favorite YouTubers doing vlogmas. <laughs> do that for CPM for the cast, bro. Everybody's doing vlogmas. CPM is high. That's money. They get paid more. Drop the bottom on the second channel. Today's video, we're going to get a little different perspective on life. On but I'm mad at them, though. Get your bread, boy. How we some false accusations. Because I love to just try to figure out women's perspective on things. As a man, you a man, I'm a man, we all men. We already know how we feel about false accusations. Yeah. I would love to see a woman's perspective. Can we I love hearing what women have to say. It's be funny, but yeah. It's not, it's not that crazy. I wouldn't say stupid, but some of them don't be sense. Like, right. check it out. Some of the women's ideas, not ideas, but they theories, is be contradicting itself. So I like to call them out on their bullshit. That's me, right? So, for example, I want to be alone, but I don't want to be lonely. I want a guy who wants to hold me, but sometimes not be there, but I want them to be in the house, but don't be around me. What? You realize you just made a statement that contradicts the statement that you said what you want? I know, but I want him to be there for me, but I don't want him to be there for me. I don't want him to have hoes, but I want him to be popular because I need some clout in my life. But I don't want to be too popular where he's fucking other bitches. Man. Trap! One more? Hold on. No, no. I got some oxygen to all parts of my brain. I made a comment about my ex-husband, Jamie Long. There you go. And that comment was that he forces himself on women. And right after that, I said, do you remember that night? Mm. Basically, I was telling the world that my ex-husband forced himself on me. And that was a lie. She apologized wow. to again him, his family, his wife, his mom, his sister, whatever. But my problem is that she didn't apologize to victims. How did she do that? That okay. is mental gymnastics. Oh, 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 That's oh, mental oh, gymnastics. Yeah. I mean, Shay Gucci is correct. The the women who actually are victims, they also they also are affected by this. Mm -hmm. Like it makes it harder for them. Like the people who actually True. are part of it. Mm -hmm. I just wouldn't leave with that though. <laughs> Like, that was something that we talked yeah, about. Yeah, he I apologized to the family or whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> but, like, I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't lead with, we need to immediately pivot back to women. Yeah. I wouldn't lead with that. How do you make it about you? Yeah. Off rip. If dude's life was just ruined based off false accusations, false. how would it currently be about you? Fake news. Yeah, let, let it be about you. Whether Donald Trump, Trump. Fake news, fake news, fake news. Oh, whatever. 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 Else. whatever. It's an awkward conversation to have because, yes, women do need to come forward, especially when they talk about this, but to know that women also weaponize mm -hmm. the act. Why are we act like this shit is brand new? Mm -hmm. And it could literally alter the entire life of a man. Even everything that happened with Kobe when he passed, this is the thing that people decided to talk about. That's a good point. Right? That's a really good point. Really great point. It's so sad that that's how it plays out. You do a life's really work. Really this is all you focus on. You sacrifice everything, and it's still your legacy is done. But yep. I think I think we gotta have we gotta have a couple conversations around this. And I agree with you. It is sensitive, but I think it we is. gotta have a couple conversations. We don't really discuss um, the impacts of coercion, mm. which I also think still can still be under the umbrella of. I do think we have to distinguish the difference between somebody forcing themselves on you and and make the separation between that and you 
participating in a number of, of conversations or some, and, and showing up in different scenarios at different points of time where there is room for you to be manipulated and you to be... Co- I think the coercion part of it, we, mm-hmm. we have to discuss. What she said is true. Coercion is... Coercion happens all the time, though. And yeah. sometimes coercion could be mistaken with persuasion. Yeah. And especially when you're dealing with women. It might even be... So, like, let's say you're talking to a girl. At the start of the night, she's not feeling it. Ah, ah, ah. And then what if you just... So that means, like, you can't try and be seductive or nothing. You just... is no. But sometimes, you know, women say no, but then they want you to, like, just... just I'm just trying to yeah. How do you know the difference? We had you don't. That's the problem. Is it? No, I want to do nothing tonight. And I wasn't really about to go through all the effort to try yeah. and make nothing happen. Exactly. So then I just let it die. And yeah. then the next morning was. <laughs> Can I talk? Can we talk? Can we talk? That's my worst nightmare, bro. Can we talk? Sure, let's talk, man. I was, I was wondering, like, do you, do you like me? Cause like last night you've been trying things. Like it, 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 now you everything okay? Yeah, you were fine. You were fine. So why didn't you be trying to And you also have to have an answer for that. <laughs> I think a lot of women don't even acknowledge that. I don't think a lot of women like, they'll like play in between the lines because they like that risk taking, dangerous, spontaneous moments. And it's like, that's cool, but I'm literally playing chess with my livelihood right now. Like I'm, I'm playing chess trying to figure out where I need to go, how I need to maneuver, just so we can have sex. No, no, yes. no, 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 listen, it's not even chess. It's freaking, what's the name of the little ship where people could have sink your battleship and they could have shoot you or whatever? Like they said, we're playing battleship. That's it. We're playing battleship with these Let me tell you something. I am afraid. Females, listen it. I don't support women abusing, none of that, none of that. I don't do domestic violence, I don't support it at all. Matter of fact, if you're a nigga out there and you beef women, you're a bitch nigga, straight up. But, say for example, if there's a nigga who has a gun and a female standing next to him, she's red hot and mad at me, I'm going to take my chance with a gun man. I'm going to take a chance, because this female... It's not gonna forget what I did to hurt her. This nigga just trying to get some money off of me. You know what I mean? He has an agenda. A nigga looking at us. Man, sweetie, let me get the money from him and y'all handle your business out now. Boss man, I tried. And he can live. Yo, yo, females. Yo, yo. I love y'all. I really do. But I am afraid of y'all. Look at my face. I'm not even joking. I am afraid of females. Y'all be like, oh, oh, he's a bitch. No, nigga. It's like, I can invite a female over, and she can lie and say, oh, or he tried to rape her. Even though I might not go to jail and it's a lie, the fact that that is still out there, that I've been caught up in a situation that accused me of being a rapist or whatever. They don't have no proof, but I mean accused. I can still be justified about like say for example the Kobe Bryant situation. Kobe Bryant did everything. Right? But yet when he passed, God rest his soul, they still mention the whole incident that he never was proven that he did. Oh God. Focus. You know what I mean? There was no evidence that said he did it. If he did rape the girl, he would have gone to jail, right? So therefore, none. But his image was still representing with that, which is fucked up. Oh God, public language. Which is messed up, right? <sighs> Crazy, I'm afraid of females. I love y'all, but I'm afraid of y'all. In the beginning, we, I would be fine with all, everything else that happened. Say yes, so we can get to that moment. That and we can keep it pushing. It's so much easier if it was like, at the beginning of the night, like yes or no, let me just know, we can say yes. Yes, it's, it's a no, lot of time. We can do a lot of other shit that's also fun. And so that's another thing too, like if you say no, that's cool bro, we can watch Netflix. Kick it, cook, below, do a little cooking section, you know what I mean, we we'll go cook something. Mm-hmm. And hey, we go on the beach, we go for a late night swim. We can always just, like LaVar said, ship years. <laughs> we can do that too. But also the conversation we're having, is as I want to say, it's just not on. It 
it's a very different convo. Mm-hmm. We're not even talking about the original thing no more. We're not. Mm-hmm. And that's well, totally, well, that's, well, that's, that's, that's honestly that's what I'm another, leading from here. Correct. That's a, that's mm-hmm. how this feels to me. I it, the the thing is too, us being very words mean things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so for you to say that you forced yourself onto me, that is almost essentially the definition of. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yep. There's no there's no in between lines in that. There's not no like <clears throat> well he convinced me or. I didn't, I didn't really feel right. When you just say straight up, he forced. he forced my, he forced himself. It don't matter about any type of illusions you thought you was under at that point. <laughs> that nigga could have had all the type of illusions down pat. He could have had the pendulum just spinning in your face. All that could have been done. If as soon as he, he forces himself. It don't matter what he did before that. That's it. it. it don't. That's the line that he crossed in that moment. Exactly. As well, I think the men have to done. understand more body language. I agree. Not only body language, but there's other things besides. So hold on. That means I must fucking read your body. Who the fuck do you think I am? A magician? I'm not even a magician. Who reads body? Oh, freaking Jesus! If you tell me no, Ori, no means no. What you want me to do? And just like how do you explain it? You go home, you don't like me, you didn't try nothing. You know what I mean? Okay, let me tell you my part. I had experience. I had a little situation came over, right? We sit pretty on the same couch, because it's my couch, you know, we chilling, we cutting it up. We watching a little natty flick flick flick, right? And I put my hand on her leg, on her thighs, and she moved her legs over. So I said, alright, cool. That's a sign, right? That's a sign. All fellas know like, I ain't gonna lie, I sitting over here like, oh damn, I getting curved, right? So she move her legs. She goes to the bathroom, she comes back, she sits back down. So we watch her to move and move and move and whatever, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. She's about to leave now. So I get now, walk up to the door, walk up to her car, right? Then we just, I don't know how we started talking and she just came close to me. And I'm like, okay, you hella kind of close. You done curved me on the couch, man. I ain't like a little salty at this point in time. I tried to kick out, and I'm like, man, please go, just go. You don't, you don't curve me, Ray. You just might as well leave. So anyway, like we stand on there, right? And she just lean in to kiss me. So I'm like, so I lean in a little bit, and then she lean in more. I'm like, oh, so you know, bust a little smooch, right? Oh, I skip a part. She got a call from her, from I think it's her mother or her father, or whatever. Some of her little brother's home, so she has to go t- um, be with her little brother, whatever, whatever. So, um, she she walk into a car, and I'm like, "What the fuck you doing?" So she's like, "I gotta go. I really gotta go. You should have did something from this from earlier." I'm like, "You just freaking curved me!" I'm, I'm like, "What do you want me to?" I'm, 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 listen, I'm looking at her like. Bro, you just curved me on the couch. How am I supposed to know this if you didn't tell me? Ori, I don't want to fuck you. You know what I mean? Come on, man. I, you need to tell me these I'm stuff. I'm uncomfortable. Not tonight. Uh, there's a lot of things that men, outside of the word no, I agree. you understand when a woman is in a place that she just doesn't want to do what it is that you want to do. Exactly. How do we get to this? How do we get here? How do we get here? Because again, that was not in the, what the, the statement she just read said nothing about he coerced me. She yeah. said, oh, okay, okay, I get help. forced. I get help. So we're not talking about any language. We're not talking about any dispute of he said, she said. We're talking about someone who actually See, this is why. forced himself on you. How we go? See, this is why if you are executive, sorry for pause, if you're executive like of a podcast or whatever it may be, I don't know the proper TV terms. No disrespect to women. I don't think the entire panel should be Okay, if you're okay, if you're aiming to have a diverse podcast, don't aim for all females because obviously they can all in agree with each other. I feel like it should be a mixture of male, female, female, male, whatever. So they can put their input on the like, hey, okay, I understand, sweetheart, you're not wrong, you're not wrong. But however, did you look at it from this this side? Remember, there's there's always two sides of of of, of a spectrum. There's, there's, there's both sides of a spectrum. You know what I mean? I hope I used the word right. <laughs> um, yeah, you gotta make sure, hey, you're right. You're not wrong. But at the same time, did you try to look at it from this side? 
from the male's perspe perspective. Here, when false accusations to you gotta start reading body language. And also, that's no. not a good argument neither. That's a terrible that's argument. Look what happened to me. No need to ever read body language. If we could just use the words you were talking about that meant so much a moment ago and just give us the Get just answer. Just Look what happened, happened to me. To trampoline and talk about the thing they really want to talk about. And it's a real issue, and sure, like, guys reading better body language as part of it, but that really only comes with experience, so if you're dealing with an inexperienced person, like, how would you expect them to know those things? And, and I don't have the experience, I mean, a lot of y'all. Not really the best solutions neither, because you could just be straightforward, and then that would be the best solution. In, so, in the same in men, situations, men, there are so. men that deliberately get yeah. nasty yeah. and mean yep. and, and standoffish yep. when they don't get what they want. That's, and that's fine. Hang on, Gap. We started with false accusations. Ah! Or how men get nasty when they get rejected. Which is true. I'm not yeah. saying this. I'm not it, saying this. That's just like... Oh, we can talk about it, but we're so <laughs> deep in other conversations. Hey, listen, y'all ain't hear me just say, I don't cap. I just want to have to leave. I don't cap. About how a woman lied. And we're watching it now. We're watching it with, with, with Russell Simmons. We're watching it now. There's a, There are multiple women who have come out with the same testimony about how he has forced himself on these women. How are we here? I don't know. How are we here? <laughs> that is literally a situation where the woman admitted she was in the room. She lied. That's what I mean. And we're now talking about another man's. You know, we're talking about a whole other situation. You know, whole different you know, gender, you know, bro. Those women here, largely, especially the two on the right, don't believe that the original conversation is worth having. But I recognize just how, you, when I'm, I'm dating, if I'm talking to a girl for the first time, I already know she has, like, I was talking to a girl yesterday, she was telling me, she, like, girls, they go through so much when they're on the first day. I was like, where? She's like, yeah, we have backup plans. We send her location to a whole bunch of people yeah. just to make sure. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's fucked up. But that's perspective, though. So I had yeah. to be understanding of that when I'm operating with her. And I don't blame her. When it's someone brand new. Exactly. So you should be trying to do the same with guys, though. You should be trying to do this. Guys understand how scary it can be to be falsely accused of something. So you should try and be more straightforward when you're talking to a guy as to not allow interpretation. It is, this is a stain on him forever, and no I matter think, what happens. Yeah, we need to be very careful with that. But like I said, as far as men, it's there's a lot of ways to say no. Mm -hmm. So outside of you saying no, there's a lot of ways mm -hmm. that you need to be aware that a woman's not comfortable, because at the end of the day, yeah. If she is, in fact, uncomfortable and she comes out and lets people know that she felt uncomfortable or she felt in any way abused by you in that instance, again, it can affect literally your legacy and the way you go forward that's, with your life. That's so, so scary, bro. That's, oh, my God. Oh my God. That's not what happened. Yeah, that's wild. Because, again, it did, it, unless uh, there's a part of the conversation that we're missing, she yeah. didn't say anything about saying yes or no. She said he forced himself on me. That's, we're not even having a conversation about language. So now all of a sudden, they're basically saying, yeah, you gotta always read body language because if you don't, you might end up like this guy. That's <laughs> big <laughs> that conclusion was. And that's scary. <laughs> 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 oh, you know, guys, <laughs> you get in the way like this guy. And several months later, or a year later, whenever the girl gets around to it, she'll finally start telling the Yeah, whenever she feels like it. Hey, 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 guys. Got a that one right there. <laughs> so you better be here to really fill it out. You better feel it out. 100% read rate. Yeah. You better not misinterpret anything. Anything. <laughs> um, but y'all, on my second channel, people, please let me know what you think about it. Alright, yeah. Fellas, women, don't think this is a bash, right? But you gotta understand, men go through a lot. Not saying that you don't go through a lot, either females, but you gotta think about it. The black male, my skin complexion, this is another thing, right? But this is a whole different topic. We can leave that for a different day. But the gender, my sex organ, what I have, we go through a lot. We go through so much, right? That, I don't know, man. It's just like, <laughs> I can, if I bring a female over here. I can literally go to jail. For a lie. Or my reputation can be ruined. And I don't really care what anybody has to say about me. But then again. 
I want to do things in life where my face is in the public. Right now, I'm doing this as a bitch. Imagine, God forbid, knock on wood. Well, let's memo. Knock on wood. Somebody come on and say, oh, oi, oh, touch me, or oi, oh, force yourself onto me. My little six or six viewers I got, yo, y'all would buy, y'all would, I wouldn't even have nothing, bro. I don't know have nothing much, but it's okay. But man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below if you guys want to see more reaction videos, man. Please, man. With that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day, man. Just remember to be happy, fellas, ladies, as well. Be safe, and remember the world is yours. Peace.